דנה איבגי גל פרידמן שלום And welcome to culture mass Can you please tell us who are you and what's the meaning of ציפורלה? Uh, we are, uh, we call ourselves, in Israel, we call ourselves a theater ensemble. Uh, just a second. Actually, we, we're a theater group, and uh, we do all kinds of genres of theater. Very, they're all very funny, I think. And... Uh, We're together for... Eight years. Eight years. Oh, it's a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And, yeah. <laughs> eight years that we have... This is our fourth show. Yeah. And this show is going uh, actually to, to different crowd. I mean, a uh, crowd that uh, know English, a crowd that uh, doesn't speak Hebrew. Uh, and the other shows is... Uh, much more to the Israelis, Israeli. We have just attended the, the run here in Savta. Yeah. Uh, I understand that the premiere will take place Saturday? Yes. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We were quite impressed by what we've seen. Yeah, good. Uh, lots of talent on stage. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, why in English? Well, a lot of our sketches don't even have any language and uh, a lot of people that come from lots of places in the world tell us why don't you why don't you do it I mean people could really enjoy it but there are some bits in Hebrew that we got a lot of actually requests <laughs> for it and uh, I think even more than 50% of what we do is doesn't depend on language or culture so We said to ourselves that we should work on the next phase, which is uh, really that people could really completely enjoy it in any language, any place. And there are some sketches in English, but mostly stuff that need no language. Mm. There was a reason for the question. Yeah. Uh, Israeli Fringe is uh, doing very well uh, oh, yeah. in Israel. In Israel. Uh -huh. Oh. In Israel, oh. you know the Akko festival? Yeah. Yes. And there are other fringe uh, theaters and ensembles. Yes. Uh, and the question is, when it comes to your ensemble, uh, maybe the reason it's in English because you would like to take your message also elsewhere, not only to bring it to Israelis? Yes. I think that uh, we have uh, things to say that... The language can't be uh, so um, the language can can uh, limit us when we want to say some things mm -hmm. and in the world Hebrew it's a small language I mean it's for a very uh, um, small limited small, number, uh, limited of, number people. of people yes and uh, we thought it's it, it will be great and uh, Our sketches, they are funny in English, in France, yeah. in, uh, yeah. in Italian, so... It, it seems like a part of a trend in Israeli culture. You look at the musicians now singing in English, yes. and you compare it to the numbers of musicians. I don't think it's, it's a trend. I think it's a trend to suddenly understand it, because the musicians have always made music in English, and but no, the people used to be so... Uh, You know, why are they singing in English? They should sing in Hebrew. This is Israel. Okay. And just, I think, people are more tolerant for it uh -huh. right now. More openness. So, yeah. Yes. So, you could hear it on the radio a bit more. Right. You can, but people have always done it. I mean, uh, okay. there's but a great CD by Roquefort uh, in 50-something. Yeah. Completely in English. Absolutely. Great, great CD. That Absolutely. But it was less so, common. It was less common. Yeah, and people yeah. wouldn't really play it on the radio because uh, right. you, there's something... I don't know, people don't like it. It's like, uh, oh, you don't want us anymore, you want to go away. Yeah. And, uh, and it's not that we want to go away, but we just want to reach a lot of people. It doesn't matter where or we want. Which means your message is not only an Israeli message, it's a, it's a cosmopolitan message yes. to all people. Yes. Which is quite wonderful, if I may say so myself. 
you seemed a bit surprised when I said that Israeli Fringe is doing very well. So Because it's not. <laughs> this is, this, so this is my uh, turn to ask you, to give you the opportunity to say what you think about Israeli Fringe. Well, we don't call ourselves Fringe as well, because Fringe is actually, it's, a, it's kind of a, it's not what it is in the world, in Israel. In Israel it's just whatever is not um, mainstream. national theater. Mainstream. No. No, main, uh, national theater. It's whatever not, is not... Um, in Israel, you have two sections. Commer commercial, maybe? No, no you have national theater yeah. in Israel, yeah. which is kind of commercial. Yeah. And uh, you have fringe. Okay. In New York, you have... Nothing uh, else. Uh, nothing New else. Ah, yeah. nothing in the middle. No. Nothing in the middle. So, so everything's called fringe, yeah, you know, in, uh, we don't feel yeah. like... In London fringe. you have West End, you have, uh, off West End, uh, off West End. Okay, something is missing here. Yeah, something yeah. is missing. How would you describe your ensemble and your theater? Off-Broadway. Off-Broadway? Off Broadway? Yeah, mm -hmm. off-Broadway show, mm -hmm. not fringe. I'm happy I, I asked. Yeah. What are the plans, if I, you may uh, confide in us? I think to make a good run on uh, off-Broadway show, uh, mm. Try to create uh, long tours uh, in London, in France, in Italy, uh, in Italy, in the United States. Um, and yeah, we think the, sc the sky is the limit. Yeah, the sky is the limit, but the final destination, I think, it's New York that we want, uh, we want to, cre to create the, uh, our uh, small land mm -hmm. for, for a bit. It's also <laughs> nice to, to perform here for people that... There's a lot of English speakers here yeah. that can enjoy any theater. And Absolutely. They're very pleased. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we think that there is no theater to, to the English speaker in Israel. I mean, no theater uh, have... Uh, sometimes they have subtitles, sometimes they have uh, something like that. But in Israel, you don't have something to the people that come and don't speak Hebrew. I see. So... I see. We have human. You have, we, have, we, have, yeah. we have things in, and I think that's, no, in dance and dance, and and dance yeah. but yeah. you don't have theater. Yeah. I should have asked, uh, one of the first questions should have been, how did you come to that, to establish uh, Tsiporela? Mm -hmm. What brought you to that? How did of, you come to that? It was kind of what brought us to do a show, an international show. It's, uh, we, uh, we finished school, we, we were all together in acting school, and we had a, a show, a one-time show of our sketches that we did uh, during these three years that we that we were together and people wanted to see it again and again so we said oh okay so we'll do it again and then we said oh do it again I missed it okay we'll do it again and then we realized that we're starting to perform quite a lot and then we said okay let's uh, sit down together and think and uh, give us give ourselves a name and uh, uh -huh. and understand who we are what do we want and what And I think also this started a bit. We got lots of um, a lot of people were interested. Uh, can we bring you? But what what will we do with the language? And what will we do with this sketch? And and we we try to do what is natural, what is <laughs> what is needed. I see. Both our second generation of uh, actors. No. Both of you? No. My father is a photographer. Oh, okay. Close enough. Yeah, from the different side. And here comes another question: theater or film? Oh. Or why do or why do we have to choose? Well, why do we have to choose? It's But so different. Yeah, it's, it's like two different I mean, professions. Which is more satisfying for you as an actor, for you as a, an artist? It's really hard to say yeah. because impossible. I mean, theater can can be really bad, and then you can suffer and. Uh, Also, films can be, you know, when you're in a good project, so, so it's amazing, and it's a very different experience, but it's like theater is a live meeting with people and with audience, and you do something that's, you're doing it right now, and cinema is like a, it's different, they're both great. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Dana Gal, thank you. Uh, very much for taking the time. We wish you all the best with the premiere. Thank you. And uh, bring the message to yeah. Israelis and uh, beyond. Yeah. Thank to you. Israelis and beyond. Yeah. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>